everyone. Welcome back. Tina here. I have done so many teacher, teacher, teacher videos lately that I thought it was high time I did something personal, uh, you know, favorites video, summer essentials, and I realize I'm a little late coming out with these summer essentials videos, but I've been incredibly busy lately. And before I even begin, I do want to take a moment to express my sincerest thank you to everyone who, you know, expressed their condolences. Um, recently, my father-in-law did pass away, and it's been a rather trying time for the family. It's been a little sad and gloomy, but we're, we've gotten through it, and so your condolences and your kind words meant a lot. Thank you very much. Um, I've said multiple times, and I'll say it again, I do love my followers. I love the little family we're making here on this channel. So with that, though, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this video. And I have not done a favorites video in a long time, so I have a lot to share. So having said that, you might want to pause this video right now, go get a cold drink or something, and then come on back. But I have found some truly amazing things that I am loving, 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 and I can't wait to share these with you. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with beauty products. And I did not mean this to be a we love Tarte video, but a lot of my favorites in vi vi ugh, let me try that again. A lot of my favorites in beauty right now are Tarte products. Um, I was out shopping at Sephora buying a birthday present for one of my co-workers actually and I bought her this little palette and I'll be honest it's so cute that when I bought her birthday present I bought one for me too. Uh, this is called the Tartlet Tease and it is precious. Inside you have six colors of eyeshadow and I love the fact that this little palette has such a wide variety of looks. Your three top colors are in your browns and then your three bottom colors are in your pinks and your taupes. So if you want to rock a brown smoky eye, go for it. If you want to do a pretty and pink look, you can go for it. Or if you want to mix and match because the one brown here called Crush is a beautiful metallic and I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see these colors they are gorgeous and I always use an eyeshadow primer especially with Tarte because Tarte eyeshadows tend to be more of a natural eyeshadow so a primer and I tend to use the um, oh, Too Faced eyeshadow insurance that's the one and so a primer will definitely help these stay in place all day. So, But the colors are gorgeous. And I love the fact that in this one teeny tiny little palette, you can toss this in your travel bag and you have a wide variety of looks. Lately, I don't know what's up with me, but I've been like downsizing everything. I'm getting tired of the big, 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 bigger is better. I've actually been almost adopting a... A reverse philosophy. And I think a big part of that might have to do with the Madame Chic books that I've been reading um, that I share with you guys in the Books That Will Change Your Life video. And so instead of having, you know, these $50 palettes with, you know, 20 shades of eyeshadow, I find I'm wanting something smaller. I want something that I can actually use up and be done with it instead of having these giant palettes that you keep for the next five years because you know it takes forever to use them up. So, but yeah, I love this little tartlet tease. It is adorable. And then my two new favorite lip products are also from Tarte. Um, this one is one of their, oh, what is this? This is just one of their traditional lipsticks. And this one is in the color Poppy. And it's a beautiful, like a red sheer. And it's actually the lipstick I'm wearing right now. And one of the things I love about Tarte lipsticks is that they are so creamy. I mean, they just glide on your lips and your lips feel soft and moist and supple all day long. And then another Tarte, this is something that they just came out with this. This is their, oh, this is their like 
lip balms, but they have a color to them. And this is in the color Rose. And these are incredibly sheer, so you're not going to get a lot of color. Even though on my hand it looks like there's a lot of color, on your lips the color is more of a hint of color. But this is almost like putting Crisco on your lips. I'm serious. It's that luscious and that buttery. I cannot tell you how much I love this. And then some of my favorite lipsticks are actually mattes because I do like the bold color a matte lipstick will give you. And then I will come back and put this on top of it just to get that creamy feel because I cannot stand having dry lips. It's, oh, I, I hate it. So, but yeah, the new Tarte lipsticks are amazing, good quality. And look at the packaging. I love their packaging. It's so beautiful, especially with the metallics. So, those were the three big new makeup products that are in my life. One makeup product is actually from last year, but I've pulled it out again. I am a pasty, pasty white Irish girl. The sun does not like me. I burn, I sweat profusely, my makeup will wear off in like a half an hour on a hot day. This though is a product I learned about last year and I've already pulled it back out. This is the Stila Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer. And this stuff, it's funny because when I first got it last year, it scared the heck out of me because it looks like spackle. You, know, you could use this stuff to putty your walls. Um, but you put it on with like a beauty blender and you dab, dab, dab and you get it in there. And this stuff will stay all day. It is harder than heck to sweat this stuff off. And let me tell you, I am really good at sweating off my makeup real fast. But this is an amazing foundation. And then another product I love is this. This is another product from last summer that I've actually rebought it. And this is the um, Setting Mist with Rosemary Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 50 by Super Goop. And this came last year in a pop sugar box. And I love this stuff. You just give it a good shake. You lift up your veins. You come in and you spray it all over. And once you put this on, between this and this, your makeup will last you for hours. It really will. Even on like a 95 degree day with humidity, your makeup will actually last. So, yeah, I love this one, and um, I know a lot of people last year were complaining about the rosemary. I have extremely sensitive skin. I mean, pathetically sensitive skin. The rosemary does not affect me or bother me in any way, and so, but yeah, I, I really love this product. So, anything to make the summer months a little less grueling for me. And then, continuing on a summer theme... I have said in a previous post that I love the Honest Sunscreen Spray. This is SPF 30, and this is literally, it kind of, it's, it's a mineral spray. It's a zinc oxide. And so when you spray it on, it's a little white, and then you blend it all in, and it goes away. So this is a really great sunscreen. If you put this on, if you're at the beach or something, you will not burn. And so for someone like me with my fair skin, that is crucial. But I also like to have sunscreen to go. And unfortunately, the Honest Company just makes these in one size cans, and these are not purse friendly. So I have found this one from Banana Boat Sport Performance Cool Zone UVA UVB Protection SPF 30. And I love the size of this little can. I get this at Target, it's just a few dollars, it fits right in my purse. And I love having sunscreen to go because if I'm not going to be out in the sun all day, I'll be honest, I don't put sunscreen on all over. I really don't. I, on my face, yes, but not all over. And there's a lot of times when I'm driving home from work. I have a long commute, and so I'll be driving, and the sun is always baking this one arm. It's kind of funny, actually. So I love to just be able to have this while I'm driving, just spray this on this arm, give it a rub in and this way I have sunscreen to go and I'm not gonna burn when I'm just like in the car going from shop to shop or from home to work so yeah this is a really good one um, it works well for me 
Okay, the next three products are, again, Tarte products. And I initially bought these as a sample set, and I can't find the little third one. And when I was buying the birthday present for my friend, I saw a three set of little Tarte minis. And one was their new facial cleanser. One is their, it's like a primer spray, a setting spray, and just a rehydrating spray. And the third one was their new moisturizer, and I cannot find the little third one. I ended up loving all three products so much that once this one and the moisturizer ran out, I literally went to Target, not Target, Sephora, and I purchased all three of the full-size products. And so I'm going to talk about this one. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep Dive Cleansing Gel. And this gel, I love it. It's so gentle. It will break up your mascara, it will get off your makeup, but it doesn't irritate my eyes, it doesn't irritate my skin, it doesn't dry out my skin. Um, so, and I will say though, this will break up your mascara, but I find I still need um, my simple micellar water and a cotton pad to just get the last of the mascara off right here, because it's broken up, but it's kind of like sticking to your under eye. But so this is an amazing cleanser and you just need one pump and it lathers a teensy bit but not really because you know it is tart and a lot of your tart products are sulfate free and a lot of you know those the paraben freeze. So but this works wonderfully to clean your skin. And this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. And this is one, I love having this little one in my purse, and I will keep refilling it from the big one. When you're out and you're hot and the sun is like wearing you down, you just put a few spritzes of this on your face. And first off, it has a wonderful lime citrusy smell that works almost like aromatherapy. So the, the lime and the citrus, it just kind of wakes you up on a hot day. It's really refreshing and it adds moisture back to that skin and I just, I love this. I Sometimes I'll use it in the morning as a primer, um, but a lot of times I find I'm using it to wake me up in the morning because that strong citrus smell just kind of, it's, it's almost like, you know, that grapefruit or something when you hit that smell, it just opens your eyes and gets you going. So this is a great primer, a refresher on a hot day. I love this stuff. And then... The Tarte Drink of H2O Moisturizer, this stuff, it's almost like if you could turn water into jelly, it's, it's, it literally is almost like a gel form of water. It's an amazingly light uh, moisturizer. I love putting this on in the daytime when I first wake up under my makeup because my skin just drinks this up and it goes away. Um, at bedtime, I still use my Rock Retinol Deep Wrinkle Nighttime Cream, but this has been the one that I've been using in the morning just to refresh and rehydrate my skin, and it goes away. I mean, it's just gone. So, yeah, these three products, I love them. And this is why I said this ended up being almost like a, a tart video, and I didn't mean it to be that way. It just kind of sort of happened that everything I'm loving right now came from Tarte. So... There is one more product in beauty that I want to talk about, and this is an old favorite. This is my Bedhead Rockaholic by TG. I love this stuff because, again, I am a sweater, and I find that during the summer I will especially sweat at the top of my neck or the base of my head, and my hair will get really wet feeling. So even if I have clean hair, I love to come in with this stuff and just put a bunch of it in the back of my head to absorb absorb. Why can I not talk today? I apologize. I'm having difficulty speaking. Apparently it's been so long since I've done one of these videos I forgot how. But so this just does a really good job of absorbing that extra moisture and the sweat and keeping you feeling a little fresh throughout the day on a hot day. So yeah, this is an old favorite that I've pulled out again. Love, love, love. And with that, I'm done with the beauty part of my summer essentials video. Moving on to uh, clothing and accessories for my summer essentials, one of the first things I want to talk about are these shoes. 
These are Keds, and I haven't had a pair of Keds, I think, since college. Um, but I love these. One, they're like a gold metallic, and they fit really well. A lot of your boaters, this is what I was always told to call them, your, a lot of your boater shoes are very narrow, and they kind of hurt my feet. Well, these ones were not that narrow. I got these at DSW, and I find that because they're gold, they go with everything. I mean, no matter what color combination of capris or pants or jeans or top you're wearing, these just really, really go. And I love the fact that I can wear the little toe socks with these because I hate getting my shoes stinky. You know, feet stink. Toe socks are awesome. But so I absolutely love these. I wear these all the time. I really am. So they're just universal. So that was the first clothing product I want to show you. And then the next clothing thing that I have are maxi dresses. I love a dress in the summer. It's a no-brainer. You know, it's one garment and you are clothed from head to toe. You don't have to think about it. There's no color matching. It's just done. So I have gone J. Jill crazy lately. Um, I, I tend to get on these kits where like this is my thing and I suddenly just spend tons of money on it. So the first maxi dress I have is this coral one that came from J. Jill. And this is a beautiful dress. I get tons of compliments on it. And one of the things I love about it is it's like a nightgown. You put this on and you don't feel like you're dressed up or you're, you know, all tight and binded. It's like wearing a nightie in public, but it's extremely beautiful. And then also one of the things I love about J. Jill is J. Jill does all the color coordinating for you. It's almost like, you know, help. I don't know how to shop. Can somebody show me what to buy? And that's one of the things that I do love about their line of clothes. So not only do I have the dress, but then I got, you know, the matching scarf in this color combo. And so you put these two together and it just looks gorgeous together. And then also at J. Jill, I bought a t-shirt, a v-neck t-shirt in this color. I bought a boat neck elbow length sleeve shirt in this color which again goes with the scarf so they do all the color combining for you I bought a boat neck shirt in the green color that this scarf can go over and so I just I love it and then if you have a pair of khaki pants black pants and white pants you've got everything you need you're, you're done so this is one of my summer essential outfits that I'm loving the next one is this blue dress um, I get so many compliments on this and it's funny because if you know me a print like this really isn't usually something I would wear and usually I'm not a fan of blue um, I don't like blue as a rule of thumb at least especially like a baby blue but when I put this dress on it was like buy me buy me now it was perfect the fit is amazing I love J. Jill and again it's that super soft fabric but it looks so polished and put together. And then one thing I do have to do though, any girl with a larger chest, you know that we have to get safety pins and put the little pins there. But so yes, yeah, so a little pin there to keep it modest. Because I do like to wear that dress to work, so I just have to make sure you know things are covered. And then the last maxi dress I got from J. Jill is this black one which the timing was kind of perfect because I bought the dress because I wanted the dress. I didn't realize that about five days after buying the dress I would be wearing it to a funeral. Um, but so it's just a simple black maxi dress and one of the things I also like about J. Jill is that the armholes are not enormous. I hate most maxi dresses, especially like at Target or things like that, I can't buy them because the armholes are so big that you're showing your bra and I have to wear a bra so this is just a simple black one but then I also bought the uh, scarf in the purple because I bought the purple t-shirt a white t-shirt and so this scarf can go on this one and it can go over the other t-shirts so you can add color to a jet black 
dress very easily. I also love to wear this with my solid red scarf and these red shoes that I have. So it ends up looking very Audrey Hepburn, which she's definitely one of my style icons. I love Audrey Hepburn. And then last two fashion accessories I want to share. These I got at, Tar at Target. And the first one is just a simple sun hat with a black band. Um, again, you know, hello, Irish girl. Anything I can do to keep the sun off my face, I am going to do. So I love this one. And then I also got this one, which looks really good with the black dress. And I love the way this one, it's got a really good drape to it, if that's what you say for a hat. So this is definitely one of my favorites for summer. And, um... A lot of people ask me what is my skin routine because I am 45 years old and my skin, you know, knock on wood, which I don't have any wood to knock on, I have very few wrinkles on my skin. Um, and honestly, the biggest thing I do, yes, I take care of my skin, but the biggest thing I do is I avoid the sun. I really, really do. Nothing will age your skin faster than sun and smoking, and I avoid both of those like the plague. So the last Thing I want to share for my summer favorites or something I've just been enjoying lately is a book and I love to read and I enjoy reading novels but I also really enjoy reading textbooks and I know a lot of people think what you read textbooks but I do and so the one I've been reading right now I'm about halfway through it is Inside the Victorian Home A Portrait of Domestic Life in Victorian England I love all things British I always have I have a real fascination with their monarchy going all the way back through the through the ages and and learning about Victorian lifestyle and this has been a really interesting book. It's really just the day-to-day -day life products they used, um, the way they ran their household. Uh, it's about the upcoming middle class and how the middle class is learning to run a household and manage their finances. And it's just been a really enjoyable read. It tells a lot about, you know, the nannies with the children, the mother's interaction with the children, the father, how the father kind of, you know, he was a father, but his job was to go out and work, and he would come home, and he was kind of above everybody else in the house. It's just, it's just a really fascinating read. So if you like history, and you like learning about Victorian era living, this is a really good book to read. And any of the products in here that I can link in the description box below, I will... Um, so I will try to do all that, but that is pretty much everything I wanted to share with my summer essentials and June favorites video, and with that, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me in the future, click the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you later.